really made up my mind and I thought, that's what I'd like to do. And then I watched a lot of TV in the, through the 50s. Y'all ever wondered about the rugged charm and timeless voice that defines Sam Elliott? Well, saddle up and join us as we take a deep dive into the life and career of the man with the mustache. Samuel Pack Elliott, born on August 9, 1944, and standing at 1.88 meters, is an American actor. He's the recipient of several accolades, including a Screen Actors Guild Award and a National Board of Review Award. He's been nominated for an Academy Award, two Golden Globe Awards, and two Emmy Awards. Elliott's known for his distinctive, lanky physique, full mustache, and deep, sonorous voice. For me, because I was so familiar with the genre. That said, I went places that I'd never gone before in that genre. Now let's take a look at his interests and favorite hobbies. Sam Elliott is a fan of fashion and likes to wear clothes that are comfortable and stylish. He has a large collection of DVDs and Blu-rays and likes to watch them on his home theater system. He also likes to wear jewelry, such as rings, bracelets, and necklaces. In his book, Shirtless, The Hollywood Male Physique, Donald Reuter refers to Elliot as a super bod and gives him a full-page color photograph from his 1976 movie, Lifeguard. Sam Elliott's an avid reader and enjoys books by authors such as Cormac McCarthy, Larry McMurtry, and James Lee Burke. He likes to fish and hunt and often goes on outdoor trips with his friends and family. Sam Elliott's a fan of sports and supports the Los Angeles Dodgers, Los Angeles Lakers, and Oregon Ducks. Dropped out during the production with COVID and uh, at the, you know, we're in incredible conditions. Let's see how he's getting on with his friends and family. In 1984, Elliot married actress Catherine Ross. The two had originally met on the set of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, as they both had roles in the film, though not together. However, they were not reunited until 1978 when they began dating after both starring in The Legacy. The couple had a daughter, Cleo Rose, in 1984. His mother was Glenn Mamie, who worked as a physical training instructor and high school teacher. His father, Henry Nelson Elliott, worked for the Department of Interior as a predator control specialist. Tragically, his dad, a member of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, died when Elliott was 18. He died thinking, man, this kid is going down the wrong path, Elliott said. And I think on some levels that was either hard on me or made me more focused in my resolve to have a career. You know, it's, uh, there wasn't any need to bring any, any extra layers in. It was just there. It was part of it. With that being said, let's discuss how he earns money. Sam Elliott's career has spanned decades and earned him millions of dollars. He's perhaps best known for appearing in movies like The Quick and the Dead, The Big Lebowski, A Star is Born, and Roadhouse. In addition to his acting work, Elliot's well known for his voice. His voice narrates a number of prominent advertising campaigns and commercials for companies like Dodge, IBM, Union Pacific, and the American Beef Council. He's also worked with Coors Beer and Ram Trucks. Since 2008, he's voiced the character of Smokey Bear and also has narrated the team introductions of the NFL at Super Bowl 45. In 2020, he landed a recurring voice role on Family Guy. He has a net worth of $20 million. Ever wanted to know where he lives? Let's find out. Sam and Catherine's primary residence is a 2.6 acre Malibu home that they purchased in the 1970s. Today, this home is likely worth six to $10 million. The house has three bedrooms and three bathrooms with over 3,000 square feet of space. This is a single family home built in 1983. The beautiful home is made of wood. This gives it a rustic feel. The large front entrance is surrounded by two large stone pillars, 
Furthermore, the interior of the home has a cozy cabin vibe featuring a large stone fireplace and an open kitchen. Additionally, there are dark wooden accents and vaulted wooden beams. They also own a property in the Willamette Valley in Oregon. In addition to Elliot's childhood home in Portland, which Elliot took ownership of following his mother's death in 2012. Now let's see what type of vehicle she'll find in his garage. A Chevrolet Suburban. A Ford F-150. A Dodge Ram. A Toyota Land Cruiser. A Harley Davidson Motorcycle. a Range Rover. A Porsche 911. A Mustang Shelby. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching it. Don't stop here, there's more where that came from. Check out our other videos for more great content.